If you have been in a design space for a while, you know that mockups are one of the simplest yet the most powerful tools for communicating a brand's identity. However, I keep seeing 3D designers making the same mistakes over and over again. So that's why today I will show you exactly step by step on how I created these professional looking 3D renders. And by the end of the video, you will be able to create mockups that companies are looking for. The first step is importing models. Now you can use Blender Kit, Sketchfab, or what I like to use is Fab. It is a library with one of the best looking 3D models and textures. Once you have found your model or texture, you can download and click high quality on FBX. The file will be zipped, so you gotta unzip it to be able to import it into Blender. Now go ahead and import the model by clicking file, import, FBX, finding the right folder, and then clicking on the model. It will import without textures, but that's fine. You gotta click the principal BSDF, click and hold Control Shift T. It's gonna open folders, and now you gotta find the folder where you downloaded the file. And here, just select all of those texture maps and enter. I'm using a different model, but it's gonna look something like this. Next, we need to add a phone, and I'm gonna do that by searching up Blender Kit, which is an add on you can get for free. Now, I need to position the phone correctly. You can even move the vertices to make it look more realistic. Once you have positioned it correctly, it's time to texture. What I like to do is add a color in between base color to change the colors to whatever I want. For some extra detail, you can combine the current bump node with a new one and combine it with a noise texture. You can even combine base color with ambient occlusion, which if you mix together and play with the color ramp, will create some cool effects. The last and the most important thing is the lighting. What you have to keep in mind is that you're not just trying to light up the scene, you're also trying to make it look good. Personally, I like to lower the spread of the lights and keep them at a the tight angle. Because the tighter the angle, the more shadows is gonna cast and the more contrast is gonna be there. And in my opinion, that's why it makes it look so good. All you have to do now is play with the settings a little or what you can also do is do a little compositing in whatever editing software you have. 